Hey guys, I'm Chad, that's Andy, and we're Team PGR. Is this thing on? Yes. So, the first thing that you saw there was me steering autopilot away from a construction barrel. <laughs> yeah. It's good, but it's not that good yet. Nope. Especially when the barrels are in your lane. Exactly. So, how did it go today, Chad? Uh, well, today, Road America. America is like racing on a ski hill where the cars are going down and then they have to turn at the bottom. So it eats brakes and it ate our rear brakes. Now, anybody who watched the tech video would know that I had to kluge with a capital K some stock rear brakes onto the racing brake rotors and the whole time I was doing that, I thought these are going to last up about three laps at Road America, and they lasted about two and a half laps at Road America. You were pretty close. I think it's a pretty good guess, actually. Right. And and while they lasted, they broke quite well. Yeah. Yeah. So hey, kudos to you. Also, if, anyone and you, 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 uh, you made you know you made par. Yeah. With the brakes at Road America. Par. So, if anyone has a source for brakes and can drop them off at Hastings in two days, that would be ideal. Right. Racing Racing pads. brakes, yes. Racing pads. As Which opposed to the rear of a Tesla Model 3. Performance. Performance. Different caliber. Right. Um, so we destroyed some rear brakes. But fortunately, during the session, the meeting session, it like started to rain, rain, then lots of people went off and hit the wall, which that's not fortunate, but, and then the session stopped. And then we had lunch, yep. and then the track dried up a little bit, and then we got to run. Yep. So even though we nuked the brakes, I coasted into a few of the corners, because it's really fast, and I didn't know what I was doing, and uh, we were in a run group that was fairly slow, it didn't matter. We still got 11. So there you go. Yeah, 11. 11 of, I don't know, there's probably 70 cars left running. Maybe. Something like that. So that's very good. Uh, <laughs> so, yes. Road America. And, and hey, you know what else we found out today? You can drive Road America without using your brakes. And still beat half the field. And still beat half the field. We probably shouldn't broadcast that. It's not real sportsmanlike. But that's what happened. It was something. It wasn't technically complete without breaks. Right. Four times per lap for one second or five times per lap. Yeah. For one second. And I was almost as fast as I was in the morning. So... Clearly, the moral of the story is brakes just slow you down. Yep. Carry speed everywhere. But the car is good. We're still learning the car. Uh, the car is very fast. And Andy tells me that Road America is very fun. Super fun. I would like to go back tomorrow. But we'll go to Brainerd instead because that's where the, yeah. the actual race is going. Right. So... Brainerd's up tomorrow, home track, except that Andy hasn't really driven it, so I'm going to drive the comp course. We're still debating on who's going to drive the Donnybrook Classic Insanity uh, old school 50s Can-Am road course. Mile long straight. Yeah, mile long straight. NASCAR turn one. And then we got the 
drags. Drag racing. If anyone knows how to do a bracket drag, just kidding, we'll figure it out. Yes. If any, I mean, we don't, we've never drag raced at all anyways. No. Have you, have you ever done it once? I think, no, not once. <laughs> One of us. I mean, we had another event we have never done at all. Know, from a stoplight when I was 14 or 16, 16. 16. Probably closer to 16. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I don't know if that counts. I don't think that counts. Probably not. It shouldn't be too hard in a car that has no gears. And There's two pedals. That's it. Push the one on the right. Right. So quickly. Yeah. There's no well, launch control happens. nonsense in this yeah, car. It's thing. just. It's just go. So we should figure be, it out. We should be able to do that. Right. We'll see. So how many hours left do we have to drive? It's ten o'clock. We have about four hours left. Yeah. We're stopping in the Oakdale Supercharger in the Twin Cities, which is home base. Twin Cities is home base. We're not stopping at home. But we do have some uh, some of Santa's little helpers uh, bringing us some tools and parts that we need. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Ben. Yes, thank you, guys. A lot. Very much. Um, and then uh, the car owner gets to see the uh, immaculate shape that we've kept the car in <laughs> in a couple of hours as well. Or maybe in the morning. Yeah, probably in the morning. So, but we haven't... Uh, we haven't wrecked it yet. We haven't bend it. There's no bending today. No bending today. Some some other people did bend. It's a sad situation, but we did not bend it. Yeah, Road America is just gnarly. Road America is what physics two was for me in college. It was just a weeding out class. So, but that's the thing about the one lap. Every event is a weeding out event. Right. I think Road America's, like I said, that. That, yeah, uh, it is. Freshman year course where they really get rid of the, the, uh, yeah. the overzealous or not worthy. But uh, kind of tough. Cool. Anyway, not much else going on other than we got to stay awake and get there. We will. Actually, we might see a few of you at the track tomorrow. Some people are coming up. So. Yes. Looking Hopefully. forward to seeing anybody that comes out. Yeah. Hopefully we'll see you at the track. All right. See you later.